Hi, right, welcome to the next edition of the Wednesday special. Today, we're going to be trying out Selesnia Coco, which is one of those decks that did do quite well at the RC. Uh, I didn't actually fix it at the RC, but I want to be trying it out and see how this deck does. Um, it's not exactly, of course, any of the exact lists from the RC or recent results. It's kind of my own version, how I wanted to pilot it and see if it actually can compete. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, hit that notification alert for future videos. We're on our way to 2,000 subs. Let's get there together. Um, and uh, let's get into this deck list and see the deck in action. So I'm going four and three on the elves. I don't really want um, too many of them. Uh, cutting one's kind of nice, uh, just because it's not unheard of that you find two elves off, off of a Coco and you kind of cry a little bit inside. So to minimize that by a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and cut one elf, um, that which allows us to fit more copies of Anointed Peacekeeper in the main, which is better against control. We have two Kellens, three Thalias. We have our four Archon of, of Amiria, four Avon Interrupters for the for the control matchups. Enduring Innocence, that's a way to draw extra cards. Uh, we have Skyclave Appetizers and Werewolf Bodyguard are, is our choice of removal in this heavy dominant aggro meta. Um, not necessarily the control meta, right? We have two Tyvars for a decent body creature that can help close the game out. So 35 creatures in total. Sideboard, we have three portable holes for aggro backed in nature to fight bogles and decks like that. We have two parting gusts for extra little bit of removal. Also, we can blink our cards if we need to. Two hearses for graveyard hate, two elite spellbinders. Um, we will probably end up cutting the bodyguards against control. Bring those in. Uh, we also have Knockout Blow and Bodyguard for a little more removal. So if we face, like I said, aggro, we could definitely get grindy, bring three portable holes, two Knockout Blows, another Bodyguard in. So we could definitely cut our Elves because they're not necessary in that matchup. Because we're going to be more of a control deck. You got Sharn as a way to fight through Reactive Sacrifice. Elish, uh, Elsbeth Resplendent as a way to help against control and grindy matchups. That is the deck we're trying out today. Let's see if this deck has what it takes to compete on the arena ladder. So an L. Sweet Temple Garden. By Journey On. They go. Another L. An Evasion. So I think I go ahead and cast Thalia. Go. That should push off of the... I'm assuming they're playing... Um, you know, the... Yora? Oh, Oddity. Alright. Yeah, you hit it. You, that gets flipped. We're definitely going to have the Skyclave Appetizers here. Uh, we can't have Oddity sticking around. So we play Skyclave. Get rid of the oddity. Go. Next turn, I think I want a Peacekeeper on Nykthos. Unless they're mana bellies. Never mind. So we'll have to pick something else that's a little bit better in this matchup. Alright, so he hits me for three. Or four. Take it. So we play Anointed Peacekeeper. I could do Cav. Smack. Go. Okay. Hits me. Take it. My Archon of Amiria. Hit you just with Thalia? Is that right? Do I give him 4-4 four, four back? If I, if I tag here, I mean, I guess if he blocks with Cav Trailblazer, I'm cool with that, right? Go. So you could Cavalier here, but... He gets a nick those. Pop it. Go. 
I mean, yeah, you get a basic forest or you get a, yeah, you get a forest, but. Or a temple garden, that's fine. All right, I need to find something good here. That's not my definition of good. So we target the Myria. Play the land. Pass the turn, I can't get through the Cavalier. All right. So storm the festival. Can I get rid of this cab? See how you block. All right, so you get to four four. Tap plant L. Go. We tax out with two four power dudes. All right, block like that. Okay. All right, that stops. An evasion, okay. Coco. Yep. I'm not sure if I can stabilize at all here or not. <laughs> yeah, I think I was I was trying to aim for that. So I get to draw. Let's get moving. So you can only cast one spell now. So we trade. By another in a sense. Smack. Go. I think that was a correct move. I have the ability to wear well bodyguard here. Depending on what he does. Now he's tapped out. Play a bodyguard. Get rid of an elf. Draw some cards. Another innocence. So that was a pretty good draw. Swing out. Go. Collect the company. Aven interrupter. Bodyguard. Get rid of an elf, counter his spell. Got game one. So against this matchup, I don't really like Fordable Hole. I really don't. Um, body Bodyguard's fine. And maybe Gust. But I'm not a huge fan of Portable Hole. Yes, it answers his elves. Maybe that's fine. And Elspeth? Run it like that? Double Ley Line, huh? Play a tap land. Go. So... I don't even think I Thalia here. That pushes off my Coco. And I think I need to play Coco to win this game. Play Tyvar. Go. Another Leyline. What a draw. So 
So, start getting frisky. Go. I think we're going to be 1-0, and I think. I don't... This is a pretty long match, I think. So we get to Coco. Get rid of the, I guess, elf. So I go. Got it. I believe one and oh. Let's get into the next. Through PayPal, I'm offering for twenty dollars all your deck through League. I also give you a, a article about how to improve the list, and as well as some sideboard guides in, in very particular matchups. If you want to check out the link, it's in the description. Now let's get back into the video. The get elf you. Play Peacekeeper to get information. I guess we name Founding. The third path. Go. Say its name, huh? Facing Dredge. Interesting. Pretty base, right? So we play our Innocence. Get this down so we can draw a card. And shove. Go. I mean, so, I mean, Dredgeless Dredge is a pretty fun deck. Take it. Smack you. Go. I guess I could have done these two together. Take it. Play Coco. Draw some cards. Drop down a Skyclave Appetizer. Eat a prize amalgam. So I think I just shove in there with everything but the elves. Oh, I guess I could have just tackled lethal. I was trying to play conservative. I, I didn't know if he had a removal spell in there. Got game one. So against this matchup, we have hearse, maybe bodyguard. It seems like that's about it. What can we cut? Trim down on elves. Run it like that. Okay, Marsh and the Supplier. I am a little worried about the speed of this head. Go. Take my beats. Good grow spiral. But doesn't. Uh, it doesn't matter which land I play. Go. So my Peacekeeper. Into Peacekeeper, depending on what I see. A Yigra. Oh, so Cat Loop on top of it. Spicy. So I'm going to say Command. Go. Take it. By another peacekeeper. Uh, I guess do a gaze this time. Go. Take it. A ghoul. Skyclay. Go. I don't know why he's attacking with the supplier. I think he would leave it back as a blocker. And he does this time. Play the bodyguard. Get rid of it. Mac. Go. So, looks like we might be going 2-0 with the deck. Yeah. Get into the next. 
I am now offering Patreon and Locals content exclusive that includes signboard guides, budget guides, exclusive videos, as well as other types of content. If you want to check out the link, it's in the description. Now, let's get back into the video. Okay, so mountain. We're going to play the journey on and say go. That way, yeah, go. That way, you're resolving. Finally, decides to burn it. There's a ruins and passes. Wait, Archon, go. Alright, so it burns that as well. Opponent is finally starting to play a little bit. Okay, play with fire in my face. And I'll light up the stage. So we double spell. Go. Screaming Nemesis and his Lava Runner. Hmm. Take it. Attempt to punk the Thalia? Keep that. Put that on green in case I don't have to shock or ping myself for green. So I go. So now I should be able to counter some spell and then trade here. Now he can't he can't attack with the nemesis and basically trade here. Okay, a tap land. But we'll know a lot if he decides to pick up Jex here. Okay, just attack with a show off. You have another burn spell? Monstrous Rage would be a little bit problematic. Sure. Finally decides to end the game. Take our beats and die. Okay. So we have Knockout Blow. We have Bodyguard. Portable Hole. And maybe Parting Gust. Cut the Elves. Play a little bit more of a control game. Uh, Aven Interrupter Trim. Not like that, I think. Tap Land. Go. Okay, plays the land finally. And come on, you. Play the land. Go. Another Kamanu. And a Soul Scar Mage. Get rid of the Mage. Play Innocence. Go. So now he probably wants to burn the Innocence, honestly. Then it doesn't come back as an enchantment. But next turn I do get the Skyclave plus leave a, a, a knockout blow, which could be just enough to win the game. Another Kamani. Light up the stage. Or lands. Take our beats. So we play a Skyclave. Eat a Kamanu. Pass. Place the land. Lava Runner. And kills my apparition. Huh. You have it. Okay, you have another bird spell. Get rid of the etching. Skyclave. Eat the lava runner. Go. So 
Swiss Bia. We will offer the trade. Oh, I should pick up Jags in hand. Skyclave. Here to the, the apparition. I mean the Swifty, and then play a at Archon. Okay, plot. Shove. At this point, I think I just need to close this game out. Opponent is taking his time. Just takes it after slow rolling me. Go. Okay, so he attacks. Take it. And it jags. So we play bodyguard. Eat the jags. Shove. Go. So tap den by the show off. Snipe the show off. So we go and play crack a map or get a map and crack it. Keep in mind I can't cast the Kellen. Thanks to Archon. Pump the Archon. Try to, at least. If it's not a Coco, I probably won't keep it. Yeah, not portable hole. So we uh, shove in there for five. I definitely want to attack with this. Okay, so that, I figured that eventually would happen. He gets one one back. Go. Yep. Like I said, definitely don't want to trade with a bodyguard and give him back a five five. Does not seem very good. So he attacks in there. We block. We cast a Kellen. Back with a bodyguard. Go. Light up the stage. Counter it. For now. Attack with Kellen. Attack with everything almost. I got attacked with the fox. I don't know if that would be worth it or not. There is an argument I should try this, see if I get another removal spell. But it could only really be bodyguard, right? Because of Skype of Appetizers does not get rid of these tokens. So now he has to chomp the Kellen. Goes to two. There you go. I could play a little risky. Yeah, he just scoops it up. Like, could be risky and cast Coco, but run it back. Okay, come on, you. Horrible hole. I guess that's fine. Get rid of the come on, you. Go. Soul Scar Mage. 
we just play a thicket. Go. Screaming nemesis. Exile the screaming nemesis. Take one. My land, go. We attempt to cast a bodyguard. Get rid of the soul scar mage. And block. Okay, that works. We take one. A monster's rage on the fish. Interesting. So we shock ourselves. Play a Skyclave Appetizers. Eat the mage. Go. So we have this knockout blow. Potentially. Alright, kills my threat. So you have a 2-2 two -two and a 1-1. One -one. And light up the stage. So he gets a Soul Scar Mage me and then Probably bolt me next turn. Pass the turn. Attempt to snipe the Soul Scar Mage. Which might sprock you to use the Wizard's Lightning, which allows me to Aven Interrupter. So that gets pushed off till next turn. Alright, so another lightning. We take three. Go. So that costs now three. So I essentially I lose one life here. Two life? Because if I snipe this with the knockout blow. Take three. Come on, you. Opponent is thinking hard on this one. I mean, he just needs to throw, the, throw that in my face, I guess. I guess he, he could wait for a better turn, but he actually has the prowess triggers to account for. Snipe the 2-2. Two -two. Was not really looking for a land there. Get rid of the Kamanu. Go. That's fine. So he gets a 1-1 one -one back. Picks up Jags. Play a jump blocker. Go. Somehow draw the pilot fire. Like the perfect kind of removal spell. You go to five. Okay, now we go. Screaming Nemesis. Yes, I'm at one. Oh look, another land. Okay, so we are two and one with the deck. Get another wrap up. But what do we learn this week about this deck overall? We went two and one with the deck, losing the mono red at the very end there. Uh, we just got land screwed at the very end or flooded. Uh, we just could not find any action to actually gain a little bit of life, put that game into our favor. Um, but overall, I did like the actual enduring innocence. It probably is the best of the cycle. The blue one might be close second. I'm not sure. But the rest of it, the deck felt pretty solid overall. It's definitely a decent alternative to the Angels package. You know, with Coco and all that. So it gives you two paths to go down. If you want to play the Coco style deck, uh, this deck is a little bit more, I think, favored into control. 
versus the Angels deck. Um, but I think Angels, of course, is better into aggro than this one. So like you have to counterbalance your what direction you want to hit in the current meta. If you expect a lot of aggro, I probably would pick Angels. If I would expect uh, more mid-range and control or combo, I'd probably pick this deck. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this list. Is Pioneer sweet right now? Because I kind of think it is. I think it's like the best it's I've seen Magic um, since 2016. So about eight years, this is probably the best I've seen Magic when it comes to non-rotating formats. So I shouldn't say that. Probably about 2019, right? That's when Modern started becoming a god-awful format. So, But until next time, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification before you head out that door. Shout out to all my supporters. And if you want to see any other content from me, check out either one of these two videos and playlists. And I'll talk to you soon.